Hey there, let's play the country for December 29th. Yesterday's answer was Western Sahara. Western Sahara is a disputed territory on the northwest coast and Maghreb region of North and West Africa. About 20% of it is controlled by the self-proclaimed Sahrawi Arab Democratic Republic, while the remaining 80% is occupied and administered by Morocco. It is one of the most sparsely populated areas in the world, with approximately 500,000 people. It is bordered by Morocco, Algeria, and Mauritania. It is made up of largely desert, with summer highs reaching 43 to 45 degrees Celsius, which is 109 to 113 Fahrenheit. It is warm in the winter during the day, but at night can drop below freezing, especially in December and January. Early inhabitants of Western Sahara were replaced by Berbers and then Arabs. Islam arrived in the 8th century CE. Spain's interest in the region was originally related to the slave trade, but by the 1700s they had transitioned to commercial fishing along the Saharan coast. Spain seized control of Western Sahara during the Scramble for Africa in 1885 and established it as a Spanish colony. The area was administered by Spanish Morocco during World War II. Spanish decolonization following World War II happened more slowly than with other colonial powers, but by the end of Franco's rule in the mid-1970s, Spain rapidly began to divest itself of most of its remaining colonies. Both Morocco and Mauritania claimed sovereignty over Western Sahara, but Algeria viewed that as a threat and assisted the Polisario Front, which opposed both Moroccan and Mauritanian claims. The UN intervened and acknowledged that while both Morocco and Mauritania had historical links with the region, neither had sufficient proof of sovereignty over the territory at the time of Spanish colonization. Thus, the territory possessed the right of self-determination. On October 31, 1975, Morocco invaded. The Spanish made an agreement with Morocco and Mauritania and each moved to annex the territories. Morocco took control of the northern two-thirds and Mauritania took control of the southern third. The Polisario Front resisted and initiated guerrilla warfare, and in 1979 Mauritania withdrew. Morocco extended its control to the rest of the territory and contained the guerrillas by setting up an extensive sand burn in the desert. Hostilities ended with a 1991 ceasefire. Several referendums on the status of the region have been postponed since 1992. The stalemate largely hinges on who is qualified to vote in this referendum. While King Hassan II of Morocco had indicated support for the referendum, his son and successor, Mohammed VI, has opposed any referendum on independence. In 2010, a camp of displaced people was set up near La Ayune, the largest city in Western Sahara, as a protest. Moroccan security used helicopters and water cannons to force people out. In 2016, the EU declared that Western Sahara is not a part of Moroccan territory. Morocco has expelled foreign reporters and UN civilian staffers over the last decades. In November 2020, the ceasefire broke down. In December, the United States announced it would recognize Moroccan sovereignty over Western Sahara in exchange for Morocco establishing relations with Israel. Morocco formally re recognized Israel later that month. The move was controversial because while the re-establishment of friendly relations between Morocco and Israel was largely welcomed in most cases, especially in the West, the UN and Spain especially do not agree with the United States' recognition of Morocco's claim to Western Sahara. Morocco is a constitutional monarchy, and the exiled government of the Sarabi Arab Democratic Republic is a single-party parliamentary and presidential system. However, it intends to change to a multi-party system if and when independence is achieved. The territory controlled by the SADR has a population of just approximately 30,000 nomads. Many human rights abuses have been reported throughout the conflict on both sides. Western Sahara has few natural resources aside from rich fishing waters. It lacks sufficient freshwater for agricultural activity, and most food for its urban population comes from Morocco. The indigenous population of Western Sahara is locally known as the Sahrawis. They are Berber-speaking tribes with mixed Berber-Arab heritage. They are traditionally nomadic Bedouins, and in their culture, women have played pivotal roles. They may own and inherit property and exist independently of their male relatives. Women have been represented in the political sphere in modern times. Because Western Sahara is considered a non-self-governing territory, many measures of health, wealth, and development are not available separately from Morocco. However, Western Sahara ranks 183rd on the Human Development Index, life expectancy is 61 years, the infant mortality rate is 47 deaths per 1,000 live births, Morocco ranks 135th on the Press Freedom Index, and Western Sahara is not ranked separately, and Western Sahara is ranked not free by Freedom House. So that was super interesting. I knew nothing about Western Sahara, except that it was disputed. Um, hope you learned something too. And let's uh, let's find out what's next. Ooh, we're going to go to the Southern Hemisphere, still in Africa. To a place with a higher population, but a similar temperature. To the Southeast. Okay. Um, how about Gabon? Gotta go somewhere. Okay. 
Higher population and more southeast. Okay. Um, Tanzania. West of Tanzania and lower population. Uh, Botswana. No? Ah, I was hoping. Okay. More people in Botswana to the northwest. We're getting there. Angola. Yes. Nice. I was just looking at a map of Africa yesterday when I was um, looking at the, the Scramble for Africa map, which I, uh, I'll i throw up there. Um, it's pretty interesting. Um, that's how Africa was divided among the colonial powers in 1885, and uh, nobody really asked the indigenous people <laughs> what they wanted. So that's caused a lot of problems, obviously, in Africa since decolonization um, and before. But anyway... Um, so I guess we'll learn more about Angola, which I believe was an Italian territory, um, or colony, tomorrow. In the meantime, feel free to drop a comment here or on today's Wordle video, which is linked in the description below, with a suggestion for starting word for tomorrow's Wordle related to Angola, and I will see you then for the next Contrail.